Hello, my name is Ed Matos, and I have cancer. I'm not really sure why I'm making this video. I'm not an actor, I'm not a video buff. I think I just decided to make it just in case I don't make it. Things aren't looking really good with my cancers. I have three of them. But I'm not making this video to describe the cancers that I have, but to just tell you that I could have probably prevented them. This is my second time. During the first time, when I celebrated my 50th birthday, my wife was right on top of me get an exam, the exam you should get when you're 50, a colonoscopy. And I just avoided it. Didn't have the time, didn't have the money, but I did hide the fact that I was just, I was scared. I, I was just really afraid. I didn't know what it entailed. But I never cared much for doctors to begin with. Maybe that's because I never really needed them. I never really got sick in my life. But in short, I didn't get the colonoscopy. A few years later, I went through, I can't even describe the kind of pain I went through. After five visits to emergency rooms and being hospitalized twice and the third time I just really felt that I was dying and just refused to leave the hospital. Well they finally got their act together and we found that it was cancer. Everything became a big deal then. I had to go through an operation after that I went through the chemo. I survived it. Then I got scared again. I didn't want to go for that follow-up. I just didn't. It took a lot out of me. But that's not an excuse. But I used it as one, but it's not an excuse. And because I didn't do the follow-ups, now I'm where I'm at. Now I have three cancers. And the doctors, they're not really too sure right now. It doesn't look good. I know it. I even feel it. So I guess the reason I'm making this video is to upload it into the internet Maybe somebody will look at it and hopefully we'll learn from it. I can tell you right now what I've learned. That my wife is the greatest. <laughs> the women are a lot smarter than men can even imagine. They take pain better than we do. They're more logical than we are. They're persistent and we get angry with them because of it. At least I know I did. I really want to live. When I was younger I didn't care about dying. But I certainly care about it now. Because I'm close to it again. I'd love to live for my wife Laura who's suffering just as much as I am. I'd love to live for my daughter who's a senior at Texas A&M I'd like to see her graduation. I'd like to see her grow up. Life isn't bad. I've had some bad times. But life isn't bad when you really, really look at it. So what would I ask people to do out there? Men as well as women. Don't be afraid. If you need a procedure, Either talk to your doctor 
or talk to someone that has had it and they'll describe it to you so at least you know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect from a colonoscopy and it's a piece of cake. I didn't know what to expect from a prostate biopsy. It was a piece of cake. I didn't know what to expect from a liver biopsy. It wasn't a piece of cake, but it wasn't that bad. You gotta do what you gotta do. I think whether you're a man or a woman, you have somebody out there that loves you. It could be your husband, your wife, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your, your aunt, your next door neighbor, your co-worker. You owe it to yourself to be a little smarter, to be careful how you eat, a little exercise, a little restraint, courage, and realize that when something doesn't seem right, you got to check it. If you don't trust your doctor, change your doctor. But don't just say to yourself, I feel great. There's nothing to do. I feel great too. And then all of a sudden, from September up to November, up, I'm sorry, from the end of July to the second week of November, every night I thought I was going to die pain was so excruciating. But before that I felt excellent. After my chemo, I felt excellent. I started gaining the weight and feeling good. And then I got stupid again. Don't be stupid. Take care of yourself. Don't let things wait. Because somebody out there loves you. Just like my wife loves me and my daughter loves me. And I'm so afraid that I'm not going to be with him anymore. I have friends that love me also. One of them even got an idea and said, well, I should write to Oprah Winfrey. That she's done marvelous things for people. I've heard those things too. My luck doesn't run that way. I like writing letters, but I think it's more important to tell people on the internet. I heard the people really look at these videos, and I'm sorry it's not a ha ha video. But I hope it helps someone out there. Don't be a macho man. Do what you have to do. If not, you'll end up like me. I hope I stay alive. I don't know if I will, but I hope. I would ask you to say a kind word in my behalf to whoever you speak to, whoever you pray to. Good luck. I love you all. Bye.